Hello and welcome to Midweek Meditations where we have an opportunity to briefly share with you what God has shared with us. series entitled addicted we've been looking at addictions but now we're dealing with recovery and we're looking at recovery from the vantage point of celebrate recovery celebrate recovery has about eight particular principles that it uses and we're now at principles three and four the principle three says that you and I need to consciously choose to commit our lives totally and completely to God oh can I say that one more time you and I have to consciously choose Choose to totally commit our lives to and our will to Christ. Oh, that's a powerful decision that has to be made. It's a choice that you have to make. And I pray that you will be able to make that particular choice, make that particular decision to go all the way with Jesus. And then number four, it says that you and I have to be willing to do a self-examination, to do some introspection, to see our good and are bad and then you got to do something else you can't just see it you got to share it share it with yourself have a conversation with yourself about your goodness and and those things that are not so good and then you've got to have a conversation with God as well asking him to help you be more than a conqueror but then you've got to go a little further you got to be willing to have a conversation with someone that you trust as you talk to them about your faults oh I want to pause and tell you that oftentimes in this recovery thing we don't have anybody to hold us accountable and it becomes so difficult to remain in the mindset of recovery and then lastly lastly God laid it on my heart he said you need to tell the people that their worth is not based on what they control or what they fail to control can I say that one more time your worth is not based on what you control nor what you fail to control here's why I say this because oftentimes when we find ourselves in addicted patterns we find ourselves doing those things simply because our life appears to be out of control can I bother you for a moment and tell you that with God your life is never out of control the Bible says if he can take care of some sparrows guess what he can do the same for you and so I I want to challenge you today that you make a choice. Lord, please help me to hold to your unchanging. Lord, help me to trust you even when I can't trace you. Lord, help me to be honest with who I am. Help me also to realize that you are ultimately in control. God is ultimately in control. Can I close by telling you that it's all based on a choice? I, I was reading a story about a, a pastor who was overseas. He had been called to preach and he went over to do the evangelistic meeting and then night of the meeting he was picked up by the by the by the host pastor and they're traveling along when all of a sudden the car gave out it wouldn't go another inch find out that what happened was his needle for his gas hand was not working he had run out of gas so two preachers are behind the car they're pushing it as far as they could to the next gas station they got the gas and the engine revved up and they started going forward now can I bother you for a moment and tell you that it did not matter that there were two preachers in the car didn't matter how much they prayed here's what the reality was that car needed some gas too many times in our lives we're trying to do everything except what Christ wants us to do. And Christ wants us to willingly commit our lives to him. And that's the challenge that I lay before you as I close. Commit your life to Christ. Commit your life to Christ. Commit your life to Christ. That's what he's calling for. That's the choice you have to make. That's the will of God. And that's how you and I can make it. I want to pause and tell you that you and I can be more than a conqueror by willingly submitting our will to Christ. God bless you till we meet again. Thank you.